What the fuck, man? We're testing out the water heater not working. Outhouse down. There are peeing in a bucket. Do you want to kill someone yet? No comment. <laughs> we are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. We are on the road again, heading back up to the boat. Stefan was there fixing the window leak last weekend. One, no, of the one of the windows, he didn't fix them both. And now we're heading up for his birthday is on Monday. Um, we're still in technically in lockdown, but boating is allowed and it's fishing open in Minnesota this weekend. Not in uh, Wisconsin where we're actually going, but our marina's open and it's pretty easy to so social distance on the boat. So we already bought gas, we're not stopping on the way out. We have our masks, we did just buy some stuff at Walmart, but we would have had to do that either way. Um, anyway, so we're on our way up. We're going to do some work on the toilet and the water supply system. Get the mast ready. And get the mast ready. And then just generally clean and put some stuff away that we bought that will be living up there permanently. So, anyway, we're off. Still no mast. Her mask gets up on the 15th of May. I won't be here for that. Stefan will be here. 15th of May is also Sophie's birthday. She'll be 17. So we're here. We got everything unpacked. We're getting ready for bed. It's still kind of a mess in here. It's very messy. It's cold, but we have the heater on. Stefan has the pseudo mood lighting up. We're going to put lights up, but not done yet, obviously. They turned the water off here because of the cold, so. I have like about two cups of water for my water bottle. The boat is full of water, but one of the projects we have to do is get the water pump working. So, anyway, that's for tomorrow. We got up the boat, woke up this morning and started working. And he's getting started on dealing with our water. Our water pump. So we filled the tank with water and the pump runs, but doesn't get any pressure. I guess that's the deal. So he's going to take it off and once we get water then we can do the dishes. So what's the plan? You're going to take the whole pump off? Huh? Are you going to take the whole pump off? Yeah, I think so. I reserve the right to change that idea. But my plan is at the moment this is the bot. This oh, is the it. motor part, and then this is the. There's a diaphragm in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get at the back screws for that without taking the whole thing off. That is our pump. Where's the part that you probably think? Um, in inside here, there should be a diaphragm, and I'm hoping that there's just a bit of crap stuck in it, which would stop it from pressurizing. accumulating pressure. Also, I don't, this seems kind of loose. I don't like this. I have to figure something out on that. But we may well be ordering a new pump. So. Yep. I've never taken one of these apart before, but I'm led to believe that there's a diaphragm or two in here. From the internet? The interwebs. And I'm hoping to find debris in there that can be cleaned out um, because if it all looks okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, it looks like there might be debris. Look at that. What's that? Yeah. Debris, potentially. I'm going to say it's not clean. Totally clean. And these look like they're in good shape. Like we could clean them up and it'd be okay. So let's just clean it up, put it back together, and try it again. Yeah. That's my assessment. My well, professional that's really, assessment. Well, that's really all we can do. I don't think this part really does anything. I think these are, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know how it works. But we're going to clean it and we're going to put it back together and then we're going to see what happens. <laughs> okay, you cleaned it all up? I did. 
There was nothing too major in there, but it was dirty. So, it was hoping that goopy. there was just one random piece of stuff in there, or I don't know what. What we can do is just hook it up to 12 volts, and but we can just see if it's creating any sort of pressure. Should be suction on one side, pressure on the other, we'll see. Because I don't want to put it all back in there and then find out it doesn't run. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Next, get my handy dandy tester thingy. 12 volt tester. Runs. That's good. Now you just gotta see if there's suction. Should be. So it should be going that way. So there should be suction on this side. Hmm. Not really detect it. I don't know. I don't have a good feel for how much it should be, but does it feel like there's any pressure? Not a lot. The other thing is, once it gets up to pressure, though, pressure, it should shut off, and it's. Well, I know, but like, I, don't know, I think you should still install it and try it again. That's easy for you to say. You don't have to get under there and install it. <sighs> Just try taking it apart again one time. I don't understand if it's like doing what it's supposed to do, why it's not developing any. Well, did you do any research to see? Like, I mean, I know you did, but like, I'm just like, shut up. Like, don't be me. I can get a new one of these for less than $100. I know, but that won't do us any good today. And we have dishes to do. And and I can't, I can't really, I can't really clean anything without water. So. Anyway, I think they turned the water back on it. You could go see if they turn the water back on it. Yeah, well, that'd be nice yeah. to have some warm water. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we've gone from water to warm water. I, I'm not going to clean things in freezing cold water. So you found a broken piece of rubber? Well, I found a piece of rubber in there that didn't look like it was oriented like it was supposed to be, but I can't really get in there any further to do anything with it. This part came out more easily than I was expecting. It kind of looks like it's supposed to fit, fit against these. In fact, I can, if you look at it closely, you can see little impressions on there. Yeah. So maybe and it's then, supposed to go in there like that. Yeah. And it was loose. And that's what would, that would cause a lack of that would. suction. So I think maybe that had fallen out. Yeah. Well, that seems much better. All right. Well, let's give her a try with that. All right. Well, good have, try. Good job, have babe. Renewed faith. You have renewed faith now. This part. Um, I feel a lot better about it. Okay. Moment of truth. We got to put back together. as I was expecting, but definitely a lot more. It's worth, worth reinstalling. <laughs> worth reinstalling now? Yeah. Okay. Yay! There's water all the way in the filter now. Ooh! Water! Good pressure. No leaking so far. Now I can do the dishes when I'm Well, I'm gonna wait for the water heater to heat up. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit of water dripping there, but sometimes it leaks a little bit more. It's kind of loud. We've determined we're going to replace it. It's working right now. We've got cleaning stuff to do. Anyway, we're leaving it so I can test the shower and clean.
Okay, so testing out the water heater, not working. It's either yeah. the high, what is it, the high limit switch or the thermo, or the or the heating element. Heating element. Could be the thermostat too as well. Who knows? My, from googling it and seeing what they're saying, I think it's the heating element. But when we push the little high element button, but it's not getting hot, so I'm not really sure how it could be overheating. Um, I kind of just think it's the heating element. No, we won't know until we pay for the parts and then yeah. find out that it's not that. Anyway, so if we're gonna have hot water, it's gonna be for running the engine. I guess we can find out if that works. Maybe that won't work too. That worked when we dropped it in. So. No, I mean the the heating part of it. Oh, isn't that just like water heated? Like it's pretty simple, but hey. So after discovering that our water heater doesn't work and ordering three parts for it, we ordered the the high the high temperature Pressure, valve, te temperature switch, the thermometer, thermometer or and the then thermostat, and the um, Heating unit. And the heating element. Heating element. Because they were all cheap parts and you might as well just replace all of yeah. them. Yeah. And after fixing our water pressure pump, but it's still leaking considerably, we ordered a new water pressure pump. Yep. And now Stefan is fixing the head because the what is the joker valve you call it? Yeah. So it's a one way valve that stops the waistline that comes up over here into the tank from draining back into the bowl. So we're re he's replacing that. These get old and they don't close up and then they leak. I what think you gotta replace them every few years anyway. And I don't think it's probably ever been replaced in this toilet. Um, actually this toilet is not the original toilet. So one of the previous owners changed the whole toilet. This is a post 2008 toilet. What the fuck man? What was that? Is that Huh? That was outside, right? Yeah, that know. wasn't us, though. I don't know what it was. I'm gonna go look. It sounded like it was on the boat somewhere. I'll go look. Anyway, Stefan's fixing the toilet. This boat hasn't really been sailed in like three years. And apparently everything is breaking right now. Welcome to boat ownership. But overall, everything's in good shape, so once we get it fixed, Right. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, this no. normal maintenance stuff. It's just the maintenance never got done, so now we're doing it. Um, it just hasn't been done lately because yeah. it hasn't been used. Yeah, in three years. All right, I'm going to go see if that's, you know, a giant hole in our I, boat now. No, I think it was, I think it might have been the tank shifting, the waste tank. Because you're pumping it? Because maybe it reached a certain weight where it was. I don't I'm going to go, go pee. check. All right, bye. Okay, so the loud noise was because the holding tank is getting too full. We've been over pumping it because of the joker valve and yeah, so now it's too full and we don't know if we can get it uh, pumped out because the marina technically doesn't open until the 15th. Yeah, I mean, the water's not on. So I mean, and because it's supposed to freeze right this weekend or it's supposed to get really cold tonight, I think, or last night was supposed to be the last coldest night. night. Was the cold. They shut off even the water, so. I'm not sure I sent an email and hopefully we can get it pumped out. Otherwise, I guess there's a porta potty at the end of the dock. Typically the marina would be open and we could use those, those facilities, but COVID. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it till Sunday if we can't get it pumped out. So <laughs> it'll be fine. Dude, it's the hot water doesn't work. Fine. We can heat water on the stove. I was excited to use a shower for the first time. Not happening. Now we can't fix the toilet, and we can't use the toilet. These are minor issues. I want to, I, I mean, I get it. Boat ownership. Just that it's a cold weekend. Cold. And the marina's not open. If the marina was actually open. Yeah, if like, we could get pumped out, we'd go do it right now. I mean, yeah. It might have been. I mean, we don't even have to go anywhere. The dock we're on actually has, we, they could pump us out from here. We don't even have to move, but nobody's here right now, I don't think. Maybe they are. It's a quarter to eight. It's a quarter to eight on Friday night, so no one's here. 
Hopefully they'll be here tomorrow. I have no idea if they're even open on Saturdays right now. Um, I think they are. I guess if there's people here tomorrow, hopefully we can get pumped out. I don't know, we'll see. Depending on how cold it is. Today is cleaning day. We've been, we got up and just started cleaning. Um, Stefan's out there working on windows again. You can see him through the... Last time he was here he fixed that one. This one. This time he's fixing this one. We were not able to get the head pumped out. Maybe today they're having some problems with their pump out stuff. So we're hoping that they're able to do it today. If not, I guess it's just using the outhouse down. They are peeing in a bucket. Um,